All right, go ahead and grab your green colored yarn. Grab your crochet hook. The foot comes in two different parts. Part one of the foot, go ahead and leave yourself a little bit of tail for your row marker. Create your slip knot. Perfect. Chain two or magic ring. Put eight single crochets in the first chain or eight single crochets inside that magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yarn over your tail, pull that through. All right, slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet to close that circle. Chain one, gonna single crochet in that same spot. Second one, we're going to single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. We're creating a corner right here. So single crochet, double crochet, and single crochet, all in the same space. Next space is just one single crochet. The next space is a corner, so single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, single, double, single. Next space is one single crochet. Next space is a corner, so single, double, single, single, double, single. Next space is a one single crochet. And in this last space, a single, double, single, last corner. Single, double, and single. Yarn over the tail, pull it through, reinsert your hook. Top of the first single crochet, we're going to slip stitch to close that row. Beautiful. Chain one. This next row is a single crochet back loop only of every stitch. So one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch. Perfect. Yarn over, pull through. Slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet. All right. For row four, so we got one, two, three. Row four, five, and six is just one single crochet in each space. And then you will stop. Okay. So one single crochet, 
each space for rows four, five, and six. All right, just finished row six of the first part of the foot. I'm going to grab my scissors. With this part, we don't want much of a tail. So go ahead and cut this one on the shorter side and yarn over, pull through to create that knot in that same space. Going to yarn over, pull through one in the next space over come through and pull through the second yarn and pull those and create a knot perfect done with part one of the foot I'm gonna set that aside put away the green yarn and pull out the charcoal colored yarn. Here I've got my Simply Soft yarn in charcoal. This color is dark, so it's going to be difficult to see the stitches, but I'll do my best to show you in the video. It's literally just the top part of the foot, okay? The instructions will say one thing, and I'll show you where I change them where I deviate. So leaving a tail, marker tail, create your slip knot. Okay, either chain two or do your magic ring. One, two. See what I mean about being a little more difficult to see? In the first chain or inside the magic ring, put eight single crochets. So, eight marker tail through. Okay, go ahead and slip stitch at the top of that first single crochet to close that ring. Chain one. In the first space, we're going to put a single crochet. So single crochet. In the second space, we're going to do a corner. So a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, all in that same space. Single. double, single. In the next space, we just put one single crochet. The next space is a corner, a single, double, single, single, double, single. Next space is a single, one single. Next space is a corner, so single, double, single, single, double, single. Next space is a single, Last space is a corner, a single, double, single. Double, single. All right, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch at the top of that first single crochet to close that row. Great. Okay, in the instructions, it's now going to say slip stitch in each space around and at every corner, put a slip stitch, then chain one and slip stitch to make that sharp corner edge. 
I like to round my last stitch instead. I think it holds the foxy shape form a lot better. I think it looks better. So if you want to follow the instructions, that's fine. You would just chain one and slip stitch, slip stitch, then slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, and then slip stitch in each one. Each corner is going to be a slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch all the way around and then you finish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in the back loops only of every single space. So go ahead and choose which method you're going to do and I will meet you at the end of this row. So let's go ahead and cut a long tail because you're going to attach the charcoal gray color on top of the green, leaving yourself enough of a tail to sew the two together. Move that aside. Yarn over and pull that long tail through. Perfect. Let's go ahead and bring these two strings on the inside of the work to clean it up. Next space over, bring this one over, great, do our thing, tie that together, perfect. Now go ahead and grab your yarn needle or your tapestry needle, thread that through, grab some stuffing. This little foot is not very big, so you don't need a whole lot. Perfect. Stuff that in there. Again, with that box shape, you want to make sure that the corners stay together. I look for where I had all of my slip stitches, and I try to match those spaces up. Grab my yarn needle. Seems to be attaching right there. Okay. And sew those pieces together. All right, managed to sew that all the way around. Kind of put pressure to mold it into that square shape. And there is one foot. Awesome. Go ahead and insert your needle into the work. Again, putting your thumb through that loop, twisting it, come in from the back, mix that knot. Insert your needle through and grab your scissors and cut that off. Perfect. Your foot is done. You want to make four of these. Here we go. So you want four. Sounds good? Okay, so keep repeating this process until you have all four, and then we will attach these feet to the body. Sound good? Okay, I'll meet you in a second. Go ahead and finish all four feet. All right, we are ready to attach our feet to our Minecraft body, creeper body. So take your yarn. Grab some string from it, enough slack to uh, really make sure you can sew those feet to the body. can always cut off slack, but it's harder to add later. Not impossible, but easier to just have a lot of extra string. Thread that through. Perfect. 
Okay, when I start to attach my feet, you'll see that there is that one line from the front loops that got left behind when we did our back loops only. The feet have that same line. So I'll find the part of the foot that has our slip stitches in it. And I'm gonna want that side of the foot to be on the, uh, facing towards the inside of the creeper. That way it doesn't get seen by people, okay? I'm going to attach my needle to that corner of the body. Give myself a little bit of slack. I've got the part of the foot that has all the slip stitches in it, the gray part facing up. I'm gonna to go to the corner of that guy. Need all you little footsies to move. Perfect. Okay, go to the next space. go. I'm just going to go four spaces in. So I just did one, two, three, four. So here's two, three. Okay. And then the fourth space, the last space I want to use to attach to my body. Right there. Great. Okay, so one, one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to grab another foot. Let me just kind of put that right there for a second. Grab a foot. Find the side that has all the slip stitches in it. There you are. Okay. Found my marker tail. Put it right next to this other foot. And I'm just going to continue to sew. Spot number five. Insert the needle. and insert it there. Okay, I have that whole side. Got my feetsies. Okay, what I will do now is to extra secure I'll even go up the side of the work a little bit just to make sure that that foot isn't just dangling off the side. So I'll come up on the side here and then I'm going to re go back over all of my work because I just like to make sure it's strong. There we go. Now, instead of tying this off, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to slip it, slip the needle into the work and I'm going to come out to the other side. Let's go on the top though. See how it has those front loops only. I'm going to go on the top of that. Just like that. Okay. Let's grab our next foot. Finding the slip stitches. There they are. Right. So grab underneath there. And there.
perfect. Going to make sure to extra secure it. So come along to the next space there. Bring that around. And I'm going to go back along this line, sewing everything just to extra secure and make sure it is strong and those feet are not going to be pulled right off of the Minecraft Creeper. Okay, now I'm going to take my yarn needle, come back, meeting up with where that first string is, just like that. Go ahead and take it off my needle and tie a knot to secure. perfect. With your scissors, go ahead and cut off any extreme excess yarn. Grab your crochet hook. And it doesn't really matter where, just find a space. Pop your hook right inside. Kind of push it through, finding a space really close to where those two strings are located. There we go. Yarn those over and pull them into the work. Once they're in the work, you can just bring your crochet hook right out and they are gone. Perfect. Okay, we have finished the feetsies of the creeper. Awesome. They look great. Yay. Okay, last thing we need to do for our Minecraft creeper is give him a face. He needs a face. 